One person that I always admired and always read was Irma Bombeck. She said, when I stand before God at the end of my life, I would hope that I would not have a single bit of talent left and could say, I have used everything that you gave me. So many people, they, they never realize, they never use their talent. It stays sealed away inside of them, or they use just a little itty bit of it. In 1 Corinthians 12, verses 4 and 5, it says, There are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And it goes on, it says, there are varieties of ministries and the same Lord. Well, God has given each one of us gifts. And often we hear from people that say, I don't have any gifts. Well, you do. They may be undiscovered. They may be hidden, but they're there. Also, the gifts that you have, the gifts that you've discovered, I guarantee you there are more that are yet unwrapped waiting for you to discover and to use. You have an array of talent and no doubt some of those talents you have already refined and some talents still need to be refined. But no one will force you to do the hard work of converting raw talent into prime time talent. It is a job that each of us must do for ourselves. We are born with a God-given gift of possibility. We have to take those possibilities and hone them. People often say, what is the purpose of my life? Well, this is one of the key purposes, to unwrap the talents that have been given to you, hone them, and use them to better the world. It's a job that each of us must do for ourselves. So many people want it laid out for them on a silver platter, but it doesn't happen that way. Now, it may sound difficult, but the truth is you'll Feel better about yourself when you hone your abilities. This day, promise yourself to, to do more and also promise your Creator that you will earnestly seek to discover and to refine the talents that you discover. God has given you multiple gifts, multiple talents. Ask God to help you find these. Ask God to help you nourish these talents and to make them grow. And then you get down to business of, of finding out why you were blessed with such abilities to begin with. Now that is a whole different self-discovery. If you have a certain talent, if you realize that you have been given this, why? Why have you been given this? And what are you to do with this? Well, now that is a spiritual discovery. Vow to share your gifts with all the world for as long as God gives you the energy to do so. And like Irma Bombeck, <laughs> you don't want to pass away with any of those talents not being used up. And, uh, and they will be for the good of humanity when you allow God to show you, to help you, and when you say to God, I'm willing for you to do so. God bless you, and God bless your gifts and talents.